Okay, now for the grow bed. This is my grow bed tank where the vegetables are going to be. Um, I was lucky enough to have a uh, built-in um, drainage spout into the tank. So that was already there. There was already a perfectly cut hole manufactured into the side of the tank. Usually people will put it directly into the bottom, your bell siphon. But since this is already here, I decided to bell siphon it out the side. So that's another aspect of my experimental setup. Seems to work in my quick test that I've done already. Basically, this piece and this piece screw together into themselves. So I've screwed them together tightly against here. And they're the perfect size that fits into there. I use the sandpaper to make the hole a little bit bigger and it's a real tight fit. Then I cut uh, custom cut out of the rubber piece my own gaskets that fit here and here. Then when I screwed those two pieces together it clamped down nice and tight. I don't really have any leakage there in my experiment so far. Then I got an elbow bend and then the pipe coming up here. So the water level will fill up in the grow bed and once it gets to here, the water level gets to here, the auto siphon will start. I'm going to cut this down a little bit because I think it's too high. But So you need to cut this pipe exactly to the top height that you want your grow bed to fill to. I think I'm going to cut mine down to about here. You want the top two inches about to never get wet. The top two inches of your gravel or your clay pellets, you'd want them to never get wet because you'll have algae and other problems. So cut this down. So here's the top of the tank. I figure I will fill it to about this high with the gravel. Then down another two inches is where I want the top water level to be. So I need to cut off a little bit here. So this is the drainage for the bell siphon. Here is the bell siphon. This just sits on top like that. Notice how the bell siphon does not touch the bottom of the tank. This is a good thing because I actually want about two inches or so of water to always stay. This level will always have water in it. Uh, that's a good, mm, based on the research I've done, that's a good thing. So the bell siphon just sits on the top of that elbow bend and that's what you got there. So I've cut the air intake on the bell siphon to stop and that's about two inches off the bottom. So I'll always have this much water in the bottom here. Okay. So that's the bell siphon there. There's one problem is that underneath here gravel could go down under here and get sucked up into the bell siphon and that would cause problems. So let me show you the gravel guard. Okay, the gravel guard goes on top. I cut out this section here so that it fits around here. So now the gravel guard goes all the way to the bottom. Bell siphon sits inside there, but I've got a tiny little opening in here. Um, I think I'm going to just put some big, big rocks and maybe a zip tie or two at the bottom so that no rocks can get in here. This is my one weak point. So gravel could, small piece of gravel could work its way in there inside the bell siphon cause some problems. So I'm going to have to be careful of that when I'm filling my grow bed for the first time. So there you have it, bell siphon setup explained. Recap quickly. Your the difference between the height of this and the height of this isn't so important. Your air intake needs to be above the height of this, obviously, so you can break the suction. But the distance here, the difference in the distance between the top of the bell siphon and the top of the intake, um, not such a big deal because it creates the vacuum suction. So the things you got to be careful about are number one, 
you cut this to the height where you want the top level of your water inside the grow bed. Remembering that the top two inches of gravel should never get wet. Okay. Then, number two, your bell siphon, you need to cut the air intake hose, which for me is this pink hose, you need to cut the air intake hose at the minimum bottom level where you want the water to be. So it's always a good idea to have a little bit of water in the bottom of the tank at all times. So it's about another two inches. Two inches on top, two inches on the bottom. Cut the air intake there. If you get all your things measured out correctly, then you're going to have a good bell siphon. Bell siphon. Okay. It's the medium sized PVC pipe with a cap on top. And that's it. Then I drilled a hole. I drilled a 15 millimeter hole because this uh, tube is 16 millimeters. I drilled a 15 millimeter hole um, with a 15 millimeter drill bit. Then I forced the sleeve or uh, sorry this elbow bend with uh, a very short piece of pipe. Uh, I shoved it through here and since I drilled the hole a little bit smaller it fits really nice and tight and airtight and uh, without any glue or gaskets or anything mm, this bell siphon works. I've tested it. So I think it's good to get a larger diameter of this pink pipe because you want to be able to really suck in a lot of air to break the siphon and then also the larger diameter you have here helps draw more water in so you get a faster drainage um, then I zip tied the bottom here just loosely so the pink pipe doesn't go floating around or something uh, this is my large diameter PVC and I've drilled a bunch of holes four millimeter holes. Um, the holes are small enough I'm hoping so that none of the gravel or whatever I use in the grow bed uh, can't get in there. Just drilled a ton of holes. I don't think you can drill too many holes as long as nothing gets in there. And now I had to make a cut. I'll show you why a little bit later. I used the hand saw here and then I wanted to give it a round sort of a rounded edge so I used the drill to cut a rounded edge in there. Yeah, it's quite sloppy, but it doesn't matter as long as it's uh, the holes are small enough to where gravel can't get inside. Then it's no big deal. Then it's got to have some sort of a cap that's just uh, loosely on there. So I have a sleeve and a cap. This screws off. I can unscrew the cap here if I need to get inside to the bell siphon. All this is is a guard. The bell siphon is really the pieces that sit inside here. This is just a guard to keep the gravel out or the media. That's why there's lots of holes in it. You, know, you want a big size so you can get your hand in there. <laughs> 